<laughs> yeah, don't be getting too friendly with them supervisors at the job. I'm just saying, like, don't be all making friends at people at your job. Keep it, keep it at the job. Cause that's gonna cause problems, huh? I have to today too. Huh? I'm just saying, don't be doing that. Because you see why I don't, I don't be making friends from people I work with. There's a reason why. So I don't be on my business. Um. Hey. Hello. Oh, sorry about that. I was talking to one of my kids. But, um, oh my God, I want to talk about something that happened today. Mm -mm -mm. Um... That's what I said. You only get one life to live. So you can't be walking around miserable, you know, like snapping at people, getting mad at every little thing, okay? That's just wasting your time and energy and getting mad and frustrated and, and arguing with, with the person is not, go, not going anywhere when you do that, okay? So this lady, okay, she first of like she she was checking out her stuff, right? And she had her kids with her. And, and, and people, I don't understand. Like, if you got kids that be irking your nerves when you shop, okay? Leave them home. You know, let somebody watch them. Because I wasn't over there bringing my kids with me, going food shopping, clothes shopping, any type of shopping. If I knew they was, they was going to be irking my nerves, having me distracted where I might drop my cards, my money or whatever, you know, I would leave them home. So she, they must be just getting on her nerves while she was um scanning her stuff. Okay, so she going to um she was like, is there a way I could key in her her card number? I was like, man, I can't, I um we can't key in no no cards like, cause we only allowed to let you know let you uh key in like your access card. Um, but I have to uh, but I we have to see you know the card like you know she was trying to use her her bank card I don't know if it's a bank card or a credit card and I'm like I'm not supposed to do that or whatever so I I was like let me try to see if I could um get a um get a manager to um to do it. So she was acting on, like she was getting impatient. Like she was like, how long is it going to take? Because I, I, I have somewhere to be. Like why are you shopping when you need to be somewhere at a certain time? Like you're supposed to do your shopping on your on your day off when you don't have nothing else to do. Okay? So I was like, you got to get them a few minutes so they can come over here. Well, can you just do it? And I was like, I can't, um, I can't put, I can't um, allow you the key i can't key in your car your car number so i can't do that i, I have to get a manager um, permission so they can do that okay that's their position you know i'm not in no position to be doing that so she was like can you i need some help over here getting like coming at me ignorant and I, it was this old goofy um duck face caucasian lady okay um, and she wore glasses, so she, I understand why she was miserable, cause she, she was kind of, um, hideous in the face, okay? And she looked at like she needed to eat some more, okay? And her kids was irking her nerves, like, it ain't, and then, like, she kept coming in, like, talking to me like I was a nobody. And I was like, don't be taking it out on me, cause you, you mad, you left your card at home. Next time, make sure you have your stuff with you before you step out the door and, um, to go shopping and the customers was looking at her like she was crazy like why is she you know like why is she being rude that is that was like oh that is so rude like why is she you know coming at you like dead or whatever that's not your fault that she um she left her stuff and um and she and and i can't um key in her numbers for her i can't do that because they we not supposed to be over there keying in no numbers from somebody card okay um especially if they don't have it like if you if it's an access card you got it on you um and it's not swiping and we see that as an access card that you could key in your own numbers but when it's like a a, a a bank card like a debit card or credit card we ain't supposed to be doing it so that's why i was trying to get a manager but you know they was taking too long and then she taking it out on me like talking to me like i'm a nobody and i was like it ain't my fault you left your um your card at home your wallet at home and you can't pay for your stuff so, and I was like, next time, make sure you have your wallet. 
you know, like who who go rushing out food shopping and then they don't make sure they um had a wallet so they can pay for their stuff that they purchasing. And then, and I was like, I don't care if she's talking to me like that. I'm like, who is her? Because they always like to talk to you, talk to you any kind of way when you at work. Because they know you're not going to really, you know, check them like you would in the street. Because you were, um, you could lose your job. So, they be trying to take advantage, okay? But when you out in the street, they stay quiet. They don't be saying nothing, okay? Probably one, probably one of them, them, you know, Caucasians that's a Trump supporter. And they, you know, feeling they so I was like, I don't care what color you is. I like, I don't give, I don't give a crap about them, them Caucasians. I'ma check you just like I check everybody else. And I checked her right in her face, in front of them other customers. Like you, you done, you came at the wrong one. Cause she must be doing, you know, I was a pushover because I wore glasses. That's why I don't like. I must, I may have to get contact. I was like, I ain't no nerd, honey. Like I wear glasses cause I need them to read and stuff. You know, I ain't no damn nerd. And I checked her right in her face in a professional way without cursing because I know how to check people and put them in a place in a professional way without using bad language. So that's what I did. I had to check her because she was feeling herself. And that's sad that you acting like a fool like that in front of your kids. Like you're teaching your kids to be rude and ignorant like you, okay? You're not supposed to be talking like that in front of your kids. So she raises her kids to be rude and disrespectful like her and ignorant. Okay? And uh, um, because some of them customers be trying to talk to you, like talk to you any kind of way because you work there. They don't know what you do, do outside of work. You know? So they think they above you because you work it at their job. And I'm pretty sure some of their family members, like their parents, Aunts, uncles, whatever, work at, at those type of jobs when they had when they retire from their other job and they really don't want to be sitting around not doing nothing. So they 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 um apply to work at Target, Walmart, and stuff, McDonald's or whatever. So they can so it can make them feel like they doing something for the rest of their years. You know, being old, you know, old, or, you know, getting up there, you know, during their retirement, you know. So yeah, she she had the wrong one. I I checked her right. I put her right in her place. Um, I put her right in her place, but I did it without being all ignorant, you know, and, and you know, and, and using bad language. I checked that lady because I know how to talk. I don't gotta be cursing, you know, saying out of, out of pocket words. But I know how to check you using the right words, and I did it with a smile on my face. So I had to let her know about herself. You get you you get mad at me taking out on me because you left your your wallet home. Like if you would have just took the time and um and made sure you had everything before you stepped out the door, you wouldn't be in a situation where you had to leave all that stuff there. After you don't waste your time getting all that stuff and dealing with your um kids that was getting on your nerves, and then you walking out the door with nothing. Okay. Because when I had left my car, um, when I went food shopping, I bought all that food. So I went to Cousins on um, to get some food, right? No, I went to Super Fresh. I went over there like all oh, snaps and, uh, you know, check out wine. About to pay for my food. And I, I found out I left my car at home. I didn't snap on the, the 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 cashier. I'm like, well, can you key it in? Cause I I, I like I'm I'm not trying to leave you know leave all this stuff here and go all the way home and get my card or I wasn't doing all that old extra mentally um um mentally disabled stuff that lady was doing. That's why I was I think that lady had a mental problem. Okay, like I see, cause some of them know know how to act when they in certain situations. Like and and I'm drinking green tea with some ginger in it and lime juice. So um so she by she thought I was gonna be terminated by um by the way she was talking to me. Like I'm sitting here looking at her like she just don't know. Like I been um like I had to deal with stuff growing up as a kid and it had to toughen me up mentally, okay? You know when you gotta deal with people talking to you verb you know in a in an inappropriate way, verbally, verbal abuse and stuff. So I'm not going. I'm not going to get intimidated because you talk to me a certain way. I'm just going to look at you like you crazy and put you in your place real quick, without using bad language. 
and then look and then and then have you feeling stupid so she, i guess she felt after i checked her she felt stupid okay and everybody was looking at her like she got a problem so they're like what the heck wrong with her like you know it's like she like i'm like she it's like she got issues like how you get mad at the person because you left your your, your your card at home and i was like yeah like some of them be over here snapping trying to snap on you snap on me because i'm working here okay like it ain't my fault you left your card okay so i'm mean, just like oh I, <laughs> you i'm suspended <coughs> I'll be back. I got I to gotta get my card. They don't be on that extra stuff. So she she had a mental problem. Okay? That's why I said some people shouldn't be parents. You acting all like that. Like you need to take medication. You should not be no parent. And I don't understand why some of these men be sitting over there having kids by women that behave like that. Okay? Outside in public. She must. She was trying to use her, her Caucasian card. I don't give a crap if you use your Caucasian card. Like who is you? Like I better check you if you got if you got a Caucasian card, purple card, orange card, blue card, whatever card you got, I'ma check. Check you, okay? I don't care who you is. I'ma check you right in your face and uh, make you look stupid in front of everybody. And the way I check people, uh, you can't report me because I'm not saying nothing disrespectful. I'm just letting you know about yourself. Okay? And I ain't use no bad words or nothing, so I want to cover my behind, so I won't get in trouble. So yeah, so I be checking them, you know, where they looking stupid. Like you're not gonna try to play me and assume I'm some some geek or whatever. So I wear glasses. I don't let them glasses fool you. I just wear them because I need. I don't have 2020 vision. There ain't nothing over here geeky geeky about me. Okay. Well, no pushover. You come at me a certain way. You want to get checked. I don't care who, I don't care if you're male, female. I don't care if you're a homosexual, transgender. I don't care if you're taller than me or whatever. You know, I'm going to check you. <sighs> trying to talk to somebody, trying to talk to me any kind of way. And she got to she play herself. Because everybody was looking at her funny. Yeah, so... I know she felt embarrassed because everybody was looking at her like, what the heck? And then this one lady's like, oh, that lady ignorant. She was like, she was like, that lady ignorant. Like, she, like why is she talk like she talking to her, talking to you like that? Like, and, she, and I was like, some people be tripping, like they be miserable, they be having issues, and they come to the work, they come to your workplace. And they take it out on somebody that worked there. Because they know they can't really, you know, say too much because they need a job. That's, you know. So, I was like, I don't play that no stuff. I don't be playing that stuff no mind. I just be laughing at all. Because none of that stuff they be saying out their mouth be bothering me. Okay? I be laughing at all because she ain't about to have me lose my job. So, I don't care who you is. I don't care what race you is, nationality you from, um, culture, background. You come at me a certain way. Like I'm like I'm just this nobody or whatever trying to disrespect me. I'm gonna put you in your place, okay? Especially when you wrong. Cause like you don't get mad at people because you left your card at home and you went over there in the in the store, wasted your your precious time getting all the stuff you need to buy and then stressing over your kids and realize you ain't had your wallet. Okay? So you only supposed to get mad at yourself, not the person that worked there, okay? Because it's not their fault you left your, your wallet home, okay? That's what some people don't understand, you know. Can't be taking that out on other, on other people because it's something that you did that was your fault. But, um, yes, yeah, so I, I, I brushed that off. I was like, oh, okay, I was like, weird. Somebody forgot to. I was looking like somebody forgot to take their medication. You know, they had chemical imbalance and screwed up in their head, you know? <sighs> but yeah, like, that's why I don't like wearing glasses because they be thinking you, you this, um, when you wear glasses, they be thinking you this nerd. Not everybody a nerd, because I ain't, I'm not no nerd, okay? Mm-mm-mm. And then when they, when they hear, after I open my mouth and check the person without using 
bad language. They be looking at you funny. Like, oh, snap. I didn't know she had a mouth horn. Oh, no, that ain't no nerve. She just wear glasses because uh, she needs them. There ain't no nerd over there. I mean, not do that no more. Okay? Can't be um looking at people and assuming. Okay? Can't be doing that. Assuming to be everybody a nerd. Uh-uh. Not over here. Because you going, just like this one, this one guy at the old store. He going to get mad at me because, like, first of all, don't have your mom outside if she don't have no home training, okay? If she don't know how to act in public. He got mad at me because I said, excuse me, right? I, I said, excuse me to his mom. And she wouldn't move. Her big self wouldn't move. Her butt out the way. And she, um... She was getting smart with me, so I checked her. You know, I didn't curse or nothing. I checked her behind without cursing. So he gets mad, okay? He gets mad because he ain't like that. I had checked his mind. First of all, your mind need to know know how to talk to people. I don't, even if they they could, even if they her age or young enough to be her her one of her kids or one of her grandkids, you cannot be talking to people, you know, like they your kids or something. You know, you can't be doing it. You got you gotta, you know, have some respect. Okay? So she his mom wasn't taught home training. She she wasn't taught how to, you know, speak out in public towards other people. So you don't get mad like he got he felt some way. So I guess I he seen me outside. Um, you know, take my little break, okay? So um I was on my I think I was on my fifth my lunch break. Sitting outside chilling. So he comes outside, he starts he got gets in my face. Okay, so he was like arguing me with him. Learn how he gonna say you need to you need to learn some manners uh, and learn how to talk to people. Older. And I was like, no, I have manners. You need you you, you need to teach your mom some manners. Like she needs to know, learn. Somebody need to teach her how to talk to other people out in public. Because I never did see anything disrespectful to her. I just was trying to get her to, I said, excuse me, so she could get out of my way. And she was getting smart with me. Okay, so I was like, you need to teach her home, uh, teach her some manners because she don't have any home training. And then he kept calling me a fat, like he started calling me a fat B-I-T-C-H. So I was like, oh, you on that tip. So I was roasting him. I was roasting him from head to toe. I was busting on his, his hair. I was busting on his looks. I was busting on his clothes and his shoes he was wearing. I started busting on his mom with her dusty um um dried extension she had in her head where she had it braid back to make it look like she, you know, she had some hair. Cause when you use this extensions in your head to get some braids, that means you ain't got no hair on your head, okay? To braid your own hair. So I was roasting him and his mom, okay. Okay? And all he was doing was calling me a fat B-I-T-C-H. And he got roasted and his mom got roasted. Because I don't like them. I don't like when people be sitting over there like they be out in public with their ignorant mom or dad. Or their ignorant girlfriend or boyfriend. And then um, who don't know how to, you know, act and, and behave in public and, and know how to speak to other people with respect. Okay? And then and then they get mad when you check they, they uh, mom or they dad that's being, you know, ignorant. Like they don't have no home training. Or you check their boyfriend or their girlfriend. And they be trying to come at you. If you, if your mom, your girlfriend, your boyfriend... You did like they acting like a fool in public. Lead them home. Like I, if my mom was acting, you know, all ghetto, wretched, and ignorant in public and talking to people any kind of way, like drawing negative tension over over my way, where I'm over here about to fight somebody because her old rude mouth. I wouldn't take her nowhere. I'm like, I ain't going nowhere with, with you because you be talking the way you be talking to people. You you have uh, have us fighting. Or have me fighting because your, your mouth, like you don't know how to talk to people. Okay? In a respectful way. So that's why I don't I, like, like, I don't understand why they be getting mad. Like, you know your, your mom act like that. Or your uh, your dad, or your or your girlfriend, or your husband. Why you take them outside in public? You know you're supposed to lead them home. 
you know, go by go by yourself. Cause I wouldn't be around people that be, you know, talking all, all rude, disrespectful, or loud, and they be making funny noises to draw attention. I don't like the that type of crowd. I don't like them type of people that do that. Cause it's irritating and annoying. Like you you doing all this extra stuff so people could get, get, get a look your way or whatever. You know, that's some insecure stuff like you gotta do all that for attention so i don't like them type of people so i stay away from people like that so um you know you can't be getting mad at other people because he going to get into something like when you when you getting mad at the other person because of the way your you know your family or talking or your girlfriend your boyfriend talking to people you gonna be getting into some stuff okay all a guy could have did was my he could have just said mom you was wrong for talking to her like that. She said, excuse me, and you didn't move, and you didn't have to say all that extra stuff. Okay, because some of them older people think because you you young enough to be their daughter or their granddaughter or, or, or their grandson or their or they son that they can talk to you um, any kind of way. Everybody don't play with people, parents, okay? Or grand or grandparents. Like if you want you coming at them in a disrespectful way, um, be prepared to get checked, okay? And put in your place by somebody younger than you. So um, um, because if you you know if you want respect, you have to give respect. Oh, guess what happened? Oh my God. Um, I was ringing up um this um Hispanic guy, this Latino guy. Okay, he was um what he was he was uh. He was with his, um, I don't know if that was, his, I think that was his girlfriend. He, his girlfriend was my baby, or his mom, okay? And, um, he, I, he was, he went to pay for his stuff. So, I'm like, he gonna put the money down. I'm like, why do people keep putting the money down? Put the money in the person's hand, okay? So, he put the money down. And then what irked me was when, because it was, it was like over a hundred dollars. So, he, it was like. 160 he gave me 160 and 20 he gave me once 160 dollars but it was in 20s so i had to pick all the 20s up and then what pissed me off was when i went to give him his change he gonna reach his hand out so i could um put in his hand i'm like i'm not putting your receipt and your change in your hand you gonna pick it up the same way you had me picking up your money okay so i put the receipt and his change down and i was stand there and smile and watch him pick his change up and receipt like you people that that do not put the money in the person's hand don't expect them to put your receipt and your change in your hand okay because when you do that that is so disrespectful like you know you're supposed to put the money and stuff in the person's hand not having them pick it up okay you don't do that because you're not at a chinese restaurant where um they have like a little slot where you gotta put the money you know under the slot and you have to pick it up you're you're not in one of them restaurants where, you, where they do that or um when you're catching a train or whatever you gotta put the money in the slot thing so they can get it okay you in a store okay supermarket regular store clothing store whatever you have to hand them the money okay and i remember i had to check this old ignorant ignorant hispanic john uh, when i when i where i go to get my eyes checked because i ain't like how when she gonna um i gave her the money to pay off pay for my glasses in her hand she gonna put my my receipt um uh in my change uh on the counter and i was like can you put it in my hand because she ain't like when i see it can you put it in my hand and I was waiting there like, uh, are you going to put the, the the my receipt and my change in my hand? Because I, I didn't give you the money on the counter. I gave it to you in my hand. Okay? So when you be trying to, oh my God, when I be giving them hints, like the, when the one, when I get the ones that be putting the money down, I go like this. You know, and some of them get irritated because I'm going like this. Can I can you get, pick up the money and put it in my hand? You know, they be getting the attitude because they don't they don't like being put on the spot. That I'm I'm trying to teach them that uh you 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 supposed to hand a person the money, not put it down for them to pick it up. And it be crazy because some of these people older than me, they should know better. Like, why are you um doing that? Like, you you older than me. You should have some the more you should be more wiser and have a lot of common sense okay all right and then 
like they get an attitude with that. I'm like, I don't care if you get an attitude, put the money in my hand or whatever. They don't wanna they if they not catching on that I'm going like this so they can put the money in their hand. I'm like, alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna play your game. I'm gonna give you receipt and change back on the thing so you can pick it up, okay? Same way you had me pick it up. <clears throat> okay, but um yeah, this this um green tea good. That ginger, I don't really like, but I gotta drink that. <sighs> Get all that stuff out, okay? But I'm done my hair. I'm gonna go um put a movie on or whatever. But you know, stop doing that old ignorant stuff. You know, putting the money down. Don't take your mom, your dad out in public if they acting like a fool. Cause um, I know my mom, she don't act like that. But I know my dad. Phew, he acts like a fool when he was drawing drink. And I used to be like, uh, I won't be going nowhere with him. He act like that. Because his mouth will get you in some stuff, okay? So when you know they like that, that's when you, you don't be taking them out anywhere. That's going to draw negative attention your way. <clears throat> I got to get all that out. <clears throat> 